doing our first video on an Amy problem, the 2022 Amy 2 problem number three. Pyramid with a square base of side length six has volume 54. Such that all its vertices fall on one sphere. This sphere has radius mn. So, first of all, we all want to find the dimensions of the pyramid. Because it's a regular square pyramid, we can use the formula volume uh, is equal to one third area of the base times height. So in this case, we know the volume is 54 and the area of the base is just 6 squared. So you get 54 over 12 equals 8, which simplifies to 8 equals 9 over 2. So we have a pyramid with height 4.5. In length six, uh, base length six. Yeah, there's not a safe way to draw this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so uh, that is sort of the diagram of our triangle. And now, since this is inscri uh, this is inscribed in a sphere. We can kind of think of it like a triangle inscribed in a circle. So think about taking a cross section like this that contains uh, the center of the base. So imagine we chopped off a little tiny piece right here. So what would that look like? So in 3D, the pyramid probably looks a little bit like this. So this is the diameter. And then you can see it reaching all the way up to the top. And that is contained in the sphere too. Now keep in mind that this diagonal is not exactly the diameter. It could be just the chord. So that's why I'm going to take sort of a cross section over here that goes through both the center of the sphere and the center of you know, uh, the base of this pyramid. So, what is that going to look like? Well, it's going to look a little bit like this. So, we can imagine what it looks like in this way. Cross-section. Instead, we're going to use a cross-section that goes through this line. And the center of the sphere. So this line obviously has length 6 root 2 because the square has side length 6. So now this is what a 2D cross section would look like. This would be 6 root 2 and we would have a height. This is a midpoint of 4.5. Now, that is definitely not to scale, so we can definitely draw something better. There's nothing better to draw. Uh, I think we could do maybe something a little bit like this. Yeah, that could work. Now, to find the radius, all we would have to do is find this length. And how do we find that? Well, it's pretty easy. So, by Thales theorem, we know if we, <coughs> if we extend this line, this is an unknown that we kind of need. This right here is a right triangle because the hypotenuse is the diameter of the circle. So, this is a right triangle. And furthermore, we can say it's similar to this right triangle. So, which has side length 4.5 and 3 root 2. So here, 4.5 is to 3 root 2, as 3 root 2 is to x. 
So that means we kind of have 18 equals 4.5x, where the x equals 4. The middle of this uh, cross section 8.5, and remember, the cross section goes right through the center, which means that the diameter of this must reflect this is the diameter of the sphere, and we were asked to find the radius, 2, which is 4.25, and express it as a fraction, that's 17 over 4, which becomes 21. So that's it. Thank you, everybody.